good afternoon everybody Colin here with TechOut. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my Ubiquiti Network's home network setup. I've done a video like this in the past and it was very popular. A lot of people, uh, I don't know, enjoy seeing uh, setups like this. So I'm going to show you um, what I have, what I'm currently running. Uh, this is as of fall 2020. It is uh, about the middle to end of September at the time I'm recording this. Um, I, don't, I, have, I don't really know what I showed in the last video. Um, I have made some changes but not too many. Um, I know a lot of the equipment is going to be the same, but some of it is set up a little bit differently. So I'm just going to show you guys what I'm running and uh, what's going on here. Uh, so first things first, in the bottom here we just have the Arlo uh, base station for my Arlo cameras. And we have a Synology back there, um, which is used to back up a couple of computers. Um, other than that, that's pretty much all in the bottom there. Right here we have a ubiquity usw switch i purchased this when it was in beta um it's obviously been released to the public now um and has been for quite a while uh, but this is one of their gen 2 switches it is a 24 port with the two um sfp ports they're not sfp plus they're just one gigabit sfp um and then we have a there's actually a shelf right here you can see the, the thin metal right here so it's not sitting directly on top of this there's a shelf here mounted in here which houses um, a Philips Hue bridge, a Lutron bridge, uh, these are both for smart lighting products, uh, light bulbs um, and switches and stuff like that. Uh, there is a LiftMaster um, gateway back here for the garage door opener um, which actually it's set up but the, the account's not set up right now so it really doesn't do anything. Um, but that is so you can control your garage door remotely via an app or HomeKit. Um, they do have a new one of those that works with HomeKit. That one does not. Right here is my Netgear. Um, this is a CM1200, I believe. Um, it is, if that's not the right model number, it's a Doxus 3.1 uh, gigabit multi-gig modem. Um, so that is for my gigabit internet. Uh, my cable provider has gigabit over coax. Um, it's not true one gigabit, it's about 940, but it's what they consider gigabit in, in their speeds. Um, so that's what I have. Uh, up here we have the UDM Pro. So this is the Ubiquiti Dream Machine Pro. Um, it is the network gateway. Um, so it's basically the router and everything like that all up there. Um, so plug uh, wise, I have the switch right here plugged in um, to port one. Port three right here on the right is my power line adapter that goes to my office for power line right here is what goes to this access point up here reason I did this is because um, these ports are only gigabit since I have gigabit internet I wanted the access points to each be on their dedicated port um, going straight to the UDM and then the switch down here which houses a lot of the smart home stuff um, and the Synology and all that kind of stuff the cameras that is all on its one one port. So say a computer that's connected to this gateway right or this uh, access point right here is backing up and using a lot of bandwidth. It's not affecting stuff on other access points or wired in um, to switches in my office and stuff like that. It's basically basically got its own dedicated connection right here um, instead of everything going through the switch and then being bottlenecked with a one gigabit connection. Um, so that's the setup right there for what I have in my gear. Um, it's in a nave point navi point however you want to say that uh rack this is a i believe eight unit uh rack if i remember correctly one two three four five six seven yeah it's probably i think it's about an eight um the only thing i've done to this is i've replaced the fans and i put some noctua fans in there and got a little um adapter just to plug it in to a power outlet um they are a lot quieter than what comes in this the fans in here after a few months started to rattle um, I replaced one of them and then the other one started to rattle uh, and they were very loud so I just went ahead and replaced them both with uh, Noctua fans they have enough uh, air output and in flow to keep this stuff cool it doesn't get very hot in here to begin with the fans aren't really needed uh, at all but just to keep it a little bit cooler I do have them in there um, and then over on the right right here we have an APC uh, backups XS1300 that'll give me about um, let's see, about 100 minutes of runtime um, with everything powered on. If I turn the Synology off in there and the hard drives aren't running, it will give me probably about 130 minutes of runtime. Um, so it'll keep my network stuff going for a couple hours and a power, out of it, power outage 
um, if need be. The power strip up here is connected to the battery backup and it's not a surge protector before any of you guys say anything. And the only reason it's here is because these power bricks are too large to all plug into the back of the APC. Um, but doing that, it's not exceeding any of the load capacity or anything like that. It's simply just to get the power bricks to fit um, in the outlets because they're kind of close together on the back and they really only leave you one space for um, larger power bricks like that. So I just did that to make everything fit. But that is my current setup right now with my Ubiquiti Networks um, setup and that is what I'm running. Um, I do have some more of their access points downstairs and stuff like that. I have a long range access point, um, a beacon basically extender, the UAP, H, not HD, the UAP AC um, Dream Machine Beacon I think is what it's called. And then I have one of the uh, UAP AC lights in my office. Um, forgive me if those aren't the exact model names, it's been a while, but that is what I'm running. I'm Colin with Tech Out. If you guys have any questions about my setup, feel free to leave it down in the comments section below and I will answer it to the best of my ability. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a great day.